What is currently happening in the Grim Dark as of now? Well, for one, the Indomitus Crusade is all but over. They have split into different battle groups to cover more ground against the forces of Chaos and the Xenos. That's just one thing out of many. Here in this video, we will showcase 20 current events that are happening all over the galaxy. We will do this by discussing what the major races are up to, starting with the Orcs, the Eldar and so on, and ending with the Imperium. So let's get to it. Starting with the Orcs. Okay, Gaskell is at the head of a 5 million ship strong Orc fleet, searching for Angron with the biggest war ever. Why? Because Angron killed his favorite enemy who is Commissar Yarrick or also known as Old Bailai. The war boss has currently changed course in mid-space away from the Imperium to search for the Demon Prince of Khorne. While at the same time in the Nakhman zone, which is a strategically important zone for the Imperium and other races since it serves as a bridge between the Imperium Sanctus and Nihilus, for the Orcs such a thing doesn't matter. So small wars are currently entering the Nakhman zone, the war zone joining the fight in Vigilus as well as other places against all other species. In short, the place is like Thailand for the Orcs. So what's happening with the Eldar? If Rain and her followers currently unable to bring the Eldar God of Death to life, ironically, due to one of the relic swords being with Slanesh herself, is now currently aiding Gilliman from the shadows against Chaos. On the other side of the galaxy, Graf Will Ulthway is said to be in conflict against the Night Lords. Such a fight would be up for grabs. The Night Lords are masters of horror, while Ulthway, the Graf Will Eldari are no pushovers either. At the same time, due to constant attacks by Tyranids, Orcs, the Imperial forces and all, the other craft world, Yandan, is all but vanquished, all but extinct. Its population is nowhere to be found. What about the Dark Eldar? So aside from Veg, as Drubil Veg, planning to assassinate Ivrain of the craft world Eldari, nothing much is going on with these sadistic elves. Yeah, they managed to kidnap a lot of humans from the Nakhman conflict, but aside from that, it's just normal raiding of planets as usual, enslaving populations for sacrifice to Slanesh to save their own souls. So what about Chaos? Aside from the gods, which are overactive and always active, after the 13th Black Crusade and the birth of the Great Rift, Abaddon the Despoiler is currently involved in the Arcs of Orman storyline, where he is currently planning along with Vashtor the Archifane, the final and 14th Black Crusade to make the final push to Terra itself and end the Imperium. Vashtar the Archifane, on the other hand, has a side quest to become a Chaos God. After the Great Rift that tore asunder the galaxy into two halves, the planetary systems which happen to lie next to the gigantic warp rift suffers from intermittent Chaos warbands and demon hordes attacking the worlds and slowly corrupting or devastating the Imperial citizens. Plague Marines are currently attacking en masse to avenge the burning of Nurgle's garden by the Emperor and also losing the Plague Wars. After so long, another Primarch although a traitor one is slowly entering the fray yet again. This is the Prince of Pleasure's favorite snake, Fulgrim, who is now at the head of a massive Slaneshi army invading fringe worlds. Such an appearance would mean only one thing, for the Emperor's children demonic prince, which means he might have a confrontation with either one of the surviving loyalist brothers, either Gilliman or the Lion. Now what about the Nids, the Tyranids? After Octarius' war was concluded and the Orcs lost the conflict, High Fleet Leviathan got a massive power up with a humongous amount of Orc biomass to consume which can reinvigorate the dying High Fleet. With this massive boost, the Nids are now en route towards Terra. Why? Because of the Astronomicon acting like a beacon and them being the mods to a flame. But that's not it. There is another part of the High Fleet which is coming from the West. And Ogrim, the outermost planet of the Formidary system in the Bastia War Zone in Segmentum Pacificus, a battle zone for the fourth tyrannic war, is being infected and overwhelmed by the Nids. For vengeance and to cleanse the world of the Xenos stained, the Space Marines have launched a vicious counter-offensive. But the battle for the Hive world had recently been concluded and the Nids have won the planet, but not yet the system. So what about the Necrons? Well, the Silent King is gathering his forces, creating a massive Necron force in the Pariah Nexus, a part of the galaxy devoid of the influence of the warp also known as the Zone of Silence. The Imperium is currently fighting against the Necrons there and what is currently known as the War in the Prior Nexus. The Silent King's ultimate plan is to cover the entire galaxy in the Nexus Zone, thus staving off both the forces of Chaos and the Tyranids, as well as decimating the psychic Eldari and also humanity. 
Well, at the same time, there is a great awakening of the Necrons from countless tomb worlds, each with their own dynasties and allegiances. And since these Necron dynasties don't really owe anything to each other, to the other ones, there is a huge Game of Thrones political maneuvering happening there, and an upcoming civil war amongst the lesser dynasties. So what about the blue-skinned aliens called the Tau and their conglomeration? After losing the fourth spear of expansion, a new one is currently being led by Commander Shadow Sun, called the fifth sphere of expansion, and was launched into the Star Titan Nexus sometime after the Great Rift's creation. But the Tau are slow, they don't have faster than light travel nor can they navigate the warp, so, so it's going on slowly. Ultimately, the battle of the Star Titan Nexus against the Death Guard which they encountered mauled the fifth sphere fleet, slowing its momentum, though it is still expanding slowly and capturing new territory. So after that, the sixth sphere is already being planned. As for Commander Farsight, he is still being hunted by the elites of the Tau. And now for the Imperium. So the confusing and chaotic Nark Moon Rift War is still ongoing against all other alien factions as well as chaos. The Dark Eldari there have captured billions of Imperial citizens by acting as allies and promising them safety <laughs> in their homeworld of Gomorrah, which is a safe haven as they say. Okay, the Orcs are attacking everywhere and Chaos has just won a void battle in the Gracoloid Narrow. Now the Imperial forces have been diminished but, fortunately, they were reinforced by the Indomitus Crusade. Now they are awaiting a big push by the Chaos forces. Elsewhere, in a desperate move to slow down and harass the upcoming Leviathan High Fleet, Soul Blades have been sent out to attack and learn about the Tyranid weaknesses. So Soul Blades are small rapid response Imperial fleets formed during the Fourth Tyrannic War to counter the Leviathan Tendrils, Nodalon and Prometheor, which have invaded Segmentum Pacificus. These fleets are typically centered around a strike cruiser or a squadron of frigates led by heroes of the Imperium like Trajan Valoris. Now what about the Primarchs? Rubudi Gilliman received an astropathic message from the Imperial Task Force in the Parian Nexus and he is now on his way there personally. The message likely informed him of the presence of the Silent King and a Necron successful campaign in the Parian Nexus. Gilliman is now piecing together the bigger picture of the Necron's plans to expand and connect the Null Zone Nexus uh, network across the galaxy aiming to cut reality off from the war permanently. As for the other one, there isn't much info on what the Lion L. Johnson is doing after defeating Angron, but my best guess is that, after knowing about Gilliman's presence, he is currently making his way to Terra to meet with his brother, but will they meet and greet? Will Bobby G instead be in the Nexus Zone? Or will they fight? This is up to speculation. Oh yeah, Constantine Valdor well, another Primark level guy is set to make an appearance soon as the Yellow King. Anyway, the entire galaxy is in turmoil, especially with the Great Rift expanding. Chaos is making a plan to invade Terra. The Leviathan High Fleet is also making its way there towards a quadrillion Imperial citizens. And the greatest Orc War, led by Gaskell, has its eyes set on either Terra or Angron. So the situation is bleak. Hopefully the Orcs, the Nids and the 14 Black Crusade intersect at the same time and they all lose saving the Imperium cause they're gonna be battling each other. So those are the current wars and events in the 42nd millennium in 40k. So I see that many of you haven't subscribed yet. It would do us a huge favor if you would only smash that red button and also like the video to push us through in the YouTube algorithm. And while you're at it, bang on that bell icon as well for notifications on videos like this. Till the next time, take care, boys.